until you get back together with him. No. Please move on with your day. He literally told people that you got by 50 people. You was a rebound. I'm telling you, you was a rebound. Oh my god, I'm back. My lips is dry. Oh my goodness. If y'all mention the fact that I'm always in this robe, I swear to god I will never post a YouTube video ever again. Right here. This is... This is... No. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Bitch. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another video. Uh, today's video is the long-awaited promise. Tell Ricky. Like, I feel like I haven't posted a Tell Ricky in forever. Let me try to put the lights to match my bonnet. Yas. I feel like this video is, like, long-awaited because I have not posted in so long. Like, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I am back with a Tell Ricky Thursday. Bitch, don't only expect Tell Ricky's on Thursday because y'all know I'm unreliable. That's why y'all didn't get a story time last week. Don't be mad at motherfucking me. But today, I am back um, with the Tell Ricky and I will be doing some tell rickies but i specifically picked out topics that i want to talk about because bitch sometimes like y'all be giving me stuff to give y'all advice about and then i don't be having no experience in it and it's just like girl i don't know what it's like to have a man have a baby on me what the f do you want me to say to that and then you stay like what do you want me to do like do you want me to come fly to you whoop your ass tell your mama why would you fuck your cousin so let's get into today's video and I'm gonna also be getting ready for the day just a little bit cuz I'm trying to be productive today so the first one was called messing around with my best friend if you would like to send a tell Ricky it's anonymous send it to this email stop emailing my business email bitch that's not what I told you to do and if I sound illiterate you know what don't even don't even focus on that like focus on something else so I met my boy best friend about five years ago and at the time we were both in committed relationships both of these relationships were toxic and when we ended our relationship a few months later we began messing around at first it was just sex but it slowly became something more he's my best friend all sex aside but he isn't just there for me like he used to be we made a promise to only have sex with each other and he hasn't had sex with anyone else we talk to other people but we don't do anything with them no kissing and none of that but since we aren't in a committed relationship we may slip up and kiss someone but we always tell each other our relationship is complicated and i'm not sure if you're getting it lol but lately he hasn't been there for me emotionally but mostly sexually it used to be a good balance but now it's not i'm moving to a different state soon and i don't want to lose him because he's my best friend should i let him be free or keep him around i love him so much but i've learned my self-worth and i don't know what to do okay one second so I'm gonna get in depth with this one because, bitch, honestly, personal experience exactly to the T. So, <laughs> I mentioned this person before, like, briefly in a, um, in a story time before. And I basically was saying how he was my male best friend and, like, we were hella close. But it was, like, this unspoken rule where we basically were a couple, but we talked to other people. And it was so weird for me because I feel like, of course, they want somebody who who they could bond with bond with a girl that they and genuinely enjoy and clearly they enjoy you if they're their your best friend so you know eventually they'll feel attraction but you cannot be best friends with someone who you like unless you're in a relationship with them and you can't sleep with any of your best friends it just doesn't work like that if y'all are going to do what y'all was gonna do y'all have to establish this type of understanding on where your relationship is because for me personally i feel like a lot of times like when he used to get girlfriends and shit and like let's say i wasn't talking to any people while he was i would be so jealous and i'll be so mad I would never tell him because, you know, I'm not supposed to look crazy. Me and this person never did anything sexual. Like, unlike you, you said you did stuff sexual. But, like, for us, it was, like, not that type of sexual. Like, it wasn't, like, that. Like, yes, there was sexual jokes made here and there. But it was nothing ever, like, intercourse between both of us. So, I totally understand what you're saying. But I do think that starting to date someone who was once your best friend literally automatically takes them out the place of being your best friend. Because when they fuck up, who are you going to go to? And this is the person who most people, when they complain, they go to people who they trust. And you're fucking the person who you can trust. But that's why I also tell bitches, do not date no boy with a girl best friend. Like, I'm sorry, do not do it. I was the girl best friend. And I promise y'all, it just happens. Like, it's not even on no, like, supposed to make you feel jealous or purposely trying to ruin your relationship as a girl best friend. But, like, when you've been in a man's life for however long and you've been fucking with him, it's very, like, hard to just automatically let him go. And they don't be trying to let you go neither. So I understand what you're saying, but, like, it's not right for y'all to do that to people who y'all mess with. Like, if you're gonna be in a relationship don't make someone feel like they're your the only person who you're with or whatever and then whole time you're in love with your best friend it's just like no that's not giving honestly if i was to give you any advice the advice i would give you is to just kind of clarify 
where y'all are and where y'all stay because honestly most likely he's feeling the same thing and if not that's okay you don't have to be his fuck buddy once you start feeling like it's too much that's when you can call quits and you can back out of it you're not obligated to have sex with him just because he's your best friend once you start feeling like it's too much for you step out of it like to yourself you're about to move if anything goes wrong you'll just move I would not recommend moving on without expressing your feelings because the way it was for me I moved on without expressing my feelings and I was like fuck it I'll just never talk to him again and now it's like you can't never be around him without having some type of feeling because you never talked about it and then also like you'll always think about this person like for me it took a long time for me to not think about him at all in like a way where it's like okay this someone who broke my heart or this someone who I had love for it and it was never discussed or talked about. You could just honestly express your feelings to him. This has been your best friend. Like, y'all grown as fuck. You about to move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he done seen your booty hole. Like, you good. Just tell him honestly how you feel because I feel like right now you want him more as a boyfriend than a best friend, but you're just staying in the safe zone as being the quote quote best friend instead of really, you know, acknowledging your feelings. But no shade, girl. No shade. Next one because that one I really totally get it like down to the T except the fucking part You're not best friends. You know what I'm saying with the person who you fucking you gotta have another friend Yes, your best friend could be your boyfriend But who the fuck you talk to when you mad at your boyfriend you talk to your best friend you get what I'm saying? All right, all right. Oh, this one is very petty messy as Valentine's Day. Please read is juicy first things first Hey, Ricky, this is a story of what I think is the most pettiest messiest thing I've done. Damn Let me see how long this shit is. All right. It's long though. Let's get in for a ride Let me give you some background information. I dated this boy. I'm gonna call him I don't know if she gave me a nickname or if I think she gave me a nickname because she didn't say his name She said I'm gonna call him so I'm gonna just read it based off what she said because she gave him a nickname I'm gonna just give the initial of the first name. So she said let me give you some background information I dated this boy. I'm gonna call him K. K and I dated for a year. He got with me after him and his ex first slash first love broke up. Hey, you was a rebound. I'm telling you, you was a rebound. <laughs> like, uh-uh. I don't want to be with no man who recently got out of a breakup with his first love. Mm -mm. He got with me after him and his ex slash first love broke up because she cheated on him. Those are the worst ones because then they dog every bitch out after. Like, you should have known, girl. I thought I told y'all something. I moved to a new school my senior year and we instantly clicked and started dating. The relationship was amazing. He would take me out on dates, got me flowers for no reason. He even flew me out to California for a week. But throughout the relationship, I had this gut feeling that he was still in contact with his ex. People would always come up to me saying they heard or something happened that revolved around her. Mind you, this is my first real relationship. This would happen really, but we always talk it out. And he would always say, why would I get back with someone who cheated on me? We, uh, I did it. So what make you think that he wouldn't do it? I'm not bitch, and I I did it. But uh, let's let's get back to the story. There was also a time where someone had said that he slept with a girl in his friend's bed while his friend was at the house, not in the room. I confronted both him and his friends. His friend knew the girl that told him. His friend called her and she told him in front of me that she never said that to me. So after that, I just started to believe that people just really didn't want us together, like Kay had been saying all along. Cause what the fuck is just crazy. Fast forward, me and him broke up a week after my birthday because he started acting different after he took my V. Damn. He took your V? OMG! I stayed with him because I wanted a present for my birthday because he a scammer or whatever. Once you say he flew you out to California, I knew he was a scammer. Literally, I soon did you say he flew you to California, I knew he was a scammer. Like, that's their go-to place. It's like, bitch, like, you're from Atlanta. You're from New York. Why are you always in Cali? I stayed with him because I wanted a present for my birthday because he a scammer or whatever. After we broke up, he basically turned into my sneaky link. I would see him a couple times a month to, you know, you know what? One day I was lurking and I connected the dots and figured out that him and his ex were messing with each other again. I was heated. But I still continue to see him months past and it started becoming towards Valentine's Day. Girl, I feel like you made a typo there because my brain a little confused. I was really depressed and disgusted with myself because I knew what was going on, but I didn't say anything. And like, you have to say something. Like, you literally have to. At the end of the day, girl, this is your risk. If that girl sat here and cheated on him and was fucking on people and then he 
clearly is acting different once he took your V and stuff and you know he's with his ex. It's just like, what do you think is happening? You're his ex right now. And he's sneaky linking with you. So automatically I would have been like, what the fuck is he doing with her? You gotta use your brain, babes. So it's the day before Valentine's Day and he asks us to see me. So I see him, we do the do and we stay with each other till the morning because that's what we really do always. He drives me home and that's that. I didn't expect anything from him on Valentine's Day because we weren't together. So here I go lurking and I see his ex in his passenger seat with balloons and flowers and a present. I was just heated. I know you're probably like, girl, you put yourself in a situation to be the side piece and I know, but we all was done for it at least once. And this <laughs> was that time for me. Who the fuck is we? The people of the United States? No, you stop, bitch. I know how it feels, bitch. But I ain't never had no man have a bitch. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let's move on. So seeing her and him, I decided to send his ex a picture of him in bed with me from the night before with the date and everything so she could see he was with me. And I said, I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. But I wasn't ready for the reply, though. I wish I had screenshotted it still. She basically said if he wanted to be with you today, he would have. And me and him are hooking up the whole time. We've been broken up and he will go back and kiss you. Oh! Amari. Let me tell you one time. Go home and get the gun. Go home! Run! Go! Her response would have blew me because you're the fucking ex. I'm the new. You know what I'm saying? You're the ex. I hope you don't think you're the side piece right now. Well, maybe you are. How does that work? Because if he never broke up with her and he was fucking her the whole time, then that means they was a sneaky link first, but then he brought you. So are you the side bitch? I really think he was the side bitch, girl. I'm not gonna lie, but I'ma still have your side. I'ma I'm still have your back. I ain't never folded on y'all before, and I ain't gonna try now. <laughs> she ate me the fuck up on God. So that got me even more mad at the bitch, because you knew he was with me, and you did that shit. So you know what I did out of spite? A week later, I was at a party getting pink Whitney wasted. I called him, and he came running. I him so good that night pulled out all the tricks then i never spoke to him again basically a fuck you to both of them i didn't like him anyways after that valentine's day shit he pulled the whole thing was in 2021 and they've been together ever since even though he ain't shit and she knows she just doesn't care i wanted to tell you the story because he recently tried to get back in contact with me by texting one of my closest friends and telling her that he misses me toxic as fuck i dubbed him hard he's been trying to get in contact with me for like months and he likes all my pictures on ig and unlikes them follows me unfollows me like like every couple of months he does this do not bring your negativity over here he's Haitian by the way I honestly just want to know everything everyone's opinion okay that was the end of it all right girl first off please stop using your coochie as revenge your coochie is not revenge your coochie is a prized possession your coochie is your safe place you knew he was fucking on that girl who you just basically told me is a whore so you know what I mean even though get back don't I I'm only calling her a whore because of her stink ass attitude but like get back at these men bro he probably cheated on her first see that's why y'all gotta start listening because he literally probably cheated on her first and he had you out here thinking she was the crazy ex the whole time she was just a hurt person like you and he probably was just cheating her really shitty like how he's doing you hear me out though you were dumb like a lot you did not need to call him up I feel like that was your closure and you trying to cover it up as revenge bitch which is why you still kind of hurt about the situation because you ain't had to call him up and then have sex with him. I just think that you wanted to have sex with him for your closure. Like, honestly. Like, you said you fucked him real good. <laughs> Why am I talking so aggressive? Like, girl, get out of here. You said you had sex with him, like, well. You know, you busted down. That you did your thing, girl. And he literally tries to contact you. That's because he ain't know that it was closure, but you knew it was closure. So stop telling yourself that you did that shit for revenge because nobody fucks on a man for revenge. If anything, you would have had him thinking he was about to get some coochie. And then when he went to get the coochie, you would have been like, I'm not fucking you, are you dumb? And then boom, bitch, that would have had him in his motherfucking feels. And then you would have been done. So I just, yeah, don't tell nobody you did that shit for uh, revenge because I know you did it. And if you be being real, we all been there. Nobody a man for revenge is closure. Your revenge would be in fucking his homeboy. But you ain't do that. You fucked him. And then you did a good job. You should have at least made it bad. Like, fuck. But yeah, now he's gonna keep contacting you because you gave him some coochie that, you know, he probably misses. And honestly, he's probably not even contacting you because he misses you because a lot of them are just selfish. Like, they just want to have bitches and have a whole bunch of people in their life that they could fuck with just so that they could 
my eyebrow is hella crooked. I feel like we've all been in our stage with that, but like, you texting that girl like that, I feel like you were more mad at her. I understand that this bitch fucked with him and then he fucked with you, but I have to express this again. Like, I said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. Stop fucking with men who just got out of a relationship and they say that the girl cheated on him because he probably cheated on her a thousand times before then and she cheated back and boom, he's trying to make her seem like she's the crazy one. One whole time, she literally was just getting her leg back. My my opinion is just the fact that you gotta learn how to heal do not respond to him don't try to fuck with him again to make her mad okay next one hey Ricky I want to start this off by saying I love you and that you've been there for me for a while and I truly appreciated you I love when y'all say that to me like it is one of the best things I can hear it makes my day so much better like I love that shit I love you too babes thank you so much for being here I'm going to try and keep this short as possible okay so basically I'm in a situation where I like this guy and he likes me but he's my ex friend's ex-boyfriend and not like a regular ex, like a she's obsessed with him still type of ex. <laughs> and he is over her. But here's the thing, last summer him and I were together and we posted it and she went crazy. She literally ruined our relationship cause she literally involved all her friends and did everything she could to bring us up. Me and her are no longer close, but I think it's weird to get with her ex. And I wanna try again, but I'm scared of how everyone will see me and him because they were on and off since middle school and I don't wanna be the whole in a whole messy situation with him. Okay, so basically she is fucking with her ex friends ex-boyfriend and she genuinely likes him and she wants to be with him and she's no longer friends with the girl now before i give you this advice and y'all drag me i want to know why you and the friend stop being friends because if you and the friend stop being friends for a reason that had to do with you wanting to mess with her boyfriend so you found a way to cut her off and you know you fell out with her because Let's be real, you don't gotta come on the internet and tell me that, but just, if you're watching this, just think about why you stopped being friends with her. Did you stop being friends with her because you wanted an excuse to be able to just mess with her boyfriend? I don't know why my camera stopped. If you watching this, just think about it. Did you like her boyfriend when y'all were friends? And did you always find him attractive? Because if you did, then there's a problem there because y'all didn't click around it having nothing to do with her, if that makes sense. Like, you can't mess with your friends ex-boyfriend just because y'all not friends anymore i mean you can you you can mess with him you can do whatever you want you know what i'm saying you can sit on his face every night but you have to think does that make me a good person or you have to think if you just doing it because of it's your feelings and if it's your feelings and you just like this person it has nothing to fucking do with her is she a crazy ex or is he still fucking with her figure that out because the last story clearly is like very humbling honestly you can with him i say give it a go again but before you fuck with him this is my advice for you to just think about why you're fucking with him and yeah you probably will hear backlash from the school i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm gonna tell you now he's not worth ruining your reputation if your school is like that to like really care about something like that if he's not a good man if you already stopped talking to him because he did some fuck shit don't waste your time you know how to get around women they don't never blame the man they always blame the woman the, okay this one says how my boyfriend accidentally told me he cheated don't reveal my name please period y'all know what's anonymous I ain't know my camera wasn't recorded. Let me give y'all a quick brief because it was really a short email. Basically, her phone got taken. Her mama took that phone. And then, like, in the midst of her, her boyfriend texting. So, like, she didn't see her boyfriend or hear from him for, like, two weeks because her phone was taken. And then she snuck in her mom's room, stole that iPad that she had for a long time, and texted him off the iPad. And he thought it was another bitch. So, he was like, what you mean, let's FaceTime right now? You just told me you was at the mall. And then he sent her a screenshot of a conversation Men are so dumb. Like, why would like why would you do that? Like, you don't even know who it is, and you just send the screenshots, and then boom, it was him talking to another girl, and she was just like, "Yeah, my mom's forcing me to go to the mall." And then the girl was like, "Wait, that's not me." So what bitch you talking to? And they broke up, and then she was saying how she kind of missed him, and she watched his page a little bit. But yeah, and here's my advice. Can we just admit that a little bit of a little bit of watching your ex just does not hurt nobody? Like. I mean, I don't do it because, you know, but I don't judge bitches who do it. Unless they really go out their way to contact that man. I'm not saying it's healthy, but what is wrong with being a little bit unhealthy? I'm not one to judge. Like, I've done it. Um, I deactivated his motherfucking Instagram, though, because if you gonna block me, I'm gonna deactivate this whole account. So I definitely did hack him, and I definitely did deactivate his whole fucking Instagram. City girl's up a thousand points. Like, fuck do you mean? Like, I done, I deactivated his account before. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, do you think you're gonna live a life without me? And not even without me, but bitch, you wanna block me? So now fight for this account back, since you wanna have it so bad. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I did what I did, and it's just like, okay, I did what I did. Oh my god. Uh,
I don't know if I want to do that one. Not my mom, my ex's mom did witchcraft on me. She just literally put that and then like said nothing else. She just put my ex's mom did witchcraft on me and I was just ready to read it and then there was nothing there. I was like, okay. Okay, so someone said, so basically let me give you the rundown. I was a freshman and he was a sophomore. He was really supposed to be a junior. We don't fuck with boys who got left back. But if they can't do simple, simple schoolwork, they can't be loyal. It, it, I don't know how that works into play, but it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. So just that he was supposed to be a junior, so boom, we texting or whatever, and three days into us texting, he's like, let's link at the mall. And I'm fre- oh, she's a freshman. Oh my god, like, what the f What do y'all not understand? The motherfuckers who are in a year old, like, literally, y'all, if you are freshman, you can fuck with a sophomore. You should not be fucking with a junior when you're dead ass a fucking freshman. Like, you're literally in eighth grade still. Like, they have had high school experience for three years. You have had high school experience for literally a month. You're still a fucking, like, it's not even like it's towards the end of the fucking school year and by now it's like, okay, whatever. But, like, you're a fucking freshman. Like, you're still in eighth grade. Like, you're in eighth grade until you're literally summertime of ninth grade. It don't make sense, but it makes sense. He's texting and he's like, let's go to the mall. And I'm a freshman, so I'm like, no, my mom is not gonna let me go to a mall with a 6'5", 16 year old. God damn, what the fuck are they feeding him? He didn't need to put that motherfucker down. Okay, so fast forward like two months into us dating. Whoa, where did that come from? I thought y'all was just texting. Fast forward two months into us dating. He come over, you know, one thing led to another. Anyway, so that happened and then I ended up cheating on him. Yes, that was wrong, but listen, I knew I loved him when I felt bad after. But <laughs> mind you, he wasn't from my hometown. He was from somewhere up north. So he would go to his hometown sometimes and why his homeboy kept feeding into me and he had a whole girlfriend in his hometown and he'd be talking to them about bitches all his homeboy be telling like when you said feeding you meant like telling you that he'd be entertaining bitches in his hometown okay he had a whole girlfriend in his hometown and he would be talking to them about bitches while there was that basketball practice all of that came out to be true so when his friend was telling you his friend was telling you the truth i think we both cheated on each other but i got called the hoe and he told the whole school i messed with the whole football team 50 plus and they believed him which that was stupid in itself because how the fuck does a 15 year old who has a job on two chair teams does track and takes college courses gonna have 50 plus to fuck her i still love him though maybe he's my first love but should i give him a no like i'm not even gonna finish that i was reading that shit like because i had to process it like i usually am a bitch who reads ahead and then i the words come out delayed from what i'm reading but no like i'm not even gonna finish that shit no do not give that man another chance. You know, the story was very much fast. Like, we went from, you know, you can't go outside because your mama said no to him coming over and then you gave him that coochie. I I, I was just like, whoa. Like, where, where, how did we get here? You know what I'm saying? I can't even lie to you and say I didn't think we was moving fast. We was moving fast. Y'all, I'm about to go out. I got my hair done yesterday. Look at it. Y'all, I cried so hard when I got my hair done. This is my hair. But no, you should not give him another chance. Like, he literally told people that you got by 50 people and you're a freshman yeah the first person who cheats it's it's by default like you can't be mad when you get cheated on and if you was already cheating on him you can't get mad that he fucked with another bitch i mean yes you can especially if he was playing victim but understand that you was in the wrong first at the end of the day you ain't really need advice you you well you did you talking about some shit you get back together with him no please move on with your day date your age or date a man who don't want to go to school <laughs> no i'm don't do that I mean, if he have other shit in line, then do that. But yeah, that was my tell Ricky for this segment. If you would like to send in a tell Ricky, you can send it to the email below in the description box. Again, everything is 100% anonymous. And I'm just gonna let y'all know not to be dumb about a man. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm up out of here. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Don't be dumb about a man. Stay up. Stay down, you up. Bye.